Previously, I did a review of an app called CoinSnap. It takes a pick of coins and gives you their value. And it got me to thinking, is there an app like this for banknotes? Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about an app from the makers of CoinSnap called NoteSnap. But before we get started, be sure to like this video if you found it useful, click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. Now you might be more likely to have old coins lying around as opposed to old paper money or banknotes like silver certificates, but you might have that old $2 bill you got for a birthday present or graduation gift. So go grab it and let's take a look at this app. All right, everybody. So we're going to jump into NoteSnap. This is different than CoinSnap. NoteSnap is going to uh, take a look at bills, uh, so paper money, uh, and we're going to see what this app is capable of. So when I jump into the app, the first thing I get is the ability to try the, um, the paid app with the ad-free experience. So I'm going to cancel out of that for now. And let's go ahead and start off with this is the first time I'm actually using this. I'm going to start off with um, scanning a bill and seeing what we get. So let's see. I'm going to move this down. Uh, it's not really taking that yet. Oh, I got to take a picture of it. So we're going to turn the bill over. Now, this is just a common $5 bill. Uh, we're starting off with this. And we're just going to see what it does when it identifies this as a regular $5 bill from uh, 2006 to 2021. And if I look at the bill itself, this is a 2013, so it fit in the range. It found the serial number and it's got um, just some basic information. Um, apparently it's worth $5.20 if I had it, but... Um, this is just a bill that I had in my wallet, so not much going on there. Um, so let's take a look now and, uh, actually I'm going to cancel back so you can see again, just the information that it gives me. So let's take another bill. This time I'm going to take the old $2 bill and we're going to take a picture of it. Um, this isn't anything that's like really collectible or I just have some $2 bills and I'm taking a picture of this one. It's not really a collectible bill that I would consider. Uh, it's got some marks on the edge there that you can see. So we're taking the front and back of this one and here's my serial number. Um, pretty common for a $2 bill. It's probably worth $2 uh, if that. So there gives you some information on the design and specifications, the lettering, um, everything there. So now uh, let's go back and, yep, I got the right result there. We'll say that's okay. Let's claim my seven day trial. Okay, so I claimed my seven day trial and it's processing that right now. Um, and now let's take a look now and see the differences here in paying for the app or just kind of using its regular thing. So I'm going to go and rescan this $2 bill again and see what we get from that. There's the front and the back. And I suspect we're not really going to see much of a difference in the app itself, but let's see what it scans as. Um, so we got the same, pretty much the same result. Any different information that's provided. It looks like it's giving me the same things here. Um, so really, so far, I'm not really seeing much of a difference between uh, the paid and the free version. There could be a thing about how many things you can keep in your collection. That might be one of the, uh, the changes there. Let's see how it handles a little bit older bill. This is a silver certificate, a $1. Uh, that's in some plastic, so we'll see if it identifies that. So we're going to scan this one. Um, my little rarity 
uh, indicator went up just a little bit. This, again, not really a collectible. Uh, I, I came across that silver certificate a long time ago. I just kind of kept it. And I can see my currency design and the lettering. It gives me some information about that. I'm going to go now with, and let's add that to the collection and see what that does. So I'm going to add that in and then I'm going to scan uh, some foreign currency. That's not US. Um, might not be foreign to you, depending on where you're watching this video. So I guess I wouldn't say foreign currency so much. So let's see what this one comes up with this People's Republic of China. So this came up it identified, which was pretty cool. Um, fairly common gives me a value to it. Some references on the currency itself. And we'll add that in, uh, add that to the collection. Let's do another, uh, what I would call foreign currency. And let's scan this and see what this comes up with. Let's scan the front and back. It's almost as fun as doing this with coins because coins, you can scan coins all day. And if you've got some, maybe you took a trip, uh, actually did not know this was Romania. Um, if you took a trip somewhere, you've been overseas and you ended up with some money that you don't know what it is or the value of this app might come in handy to kind of help you figure that out, especially with the coins too. You could, um, the, the coin snap app might give you some insight as to that coin you came back with from your trip. So let's go again. I'm going to do a couple more of these bills. This is another silver certificate. I have a feeling none of these are going to, you know, win me, uh, be my ticket to easy street. Now this particular bill was interesting. I was curious about this one because this bill has Hawaii stamped on the front and back. And it did identify that it was from 1935, a little more rare. Um, still not, uh, not my ticket to, to riches, but it did identify this bill and it gave me some information about the design and, and everything else along with it. So I'm going to add that in. We've got two more to do. Uh, so this one will be fun if you're a Disney collector. Let's see what this does. This is a Disney dollar. So I've got a few of these. This is an older Disney dollar from 1987. And we'll see if this can even identify this. I was actually curious to see if this comes up. And, <laughs> and interestingly enough, it came up with a serial number and claimed it was $10 from 1933, which is completely incorrect and very rare according to this. So this did not identify the Disney dollar. Uh, and I was actually very curious to see if it would, uh, and it did not. Unfortunately, I don't actually have this $10 silver certificate. I wish I did because it was it says it's worth um, $4,000. Um, but we're not going to add that to the collection. We're going to do one more just to kind of show you. This is a silver certificate that has a printing error on it, uh, which as I understand it, these types of bills are more rare because they usually don't let these kind of bills get out of circuit into circulation. So let's see what this identifies as uh, 1935. I don't think it really picked up that it had a, um, that it had a, uh, that it had a issue with the printing, but it did pick up the bill. So that is, uh, the app. Let's go back. Let's look at the collection of what I've scanned. It shows that I have four banknotes, three countries, and you can filter there. You can export, you can go into settings. You've got your subscription information, preferred currency. Um, you can sign it and create an account. Maybe if you're going to use this on multiple devices, you have the ability to do that. Um, and that is the NoteSnap app. Overall, just like CoinSnap, this app is very easy to use. If you collect as a hobby, it might be worth purchasing. Or if you just have a few bills and you want to see their value, it's worth downloading. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear if anyone found some high value notes in their collection. 
Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.